Hey, what's going on, everyone? Ozian here with another episode of Absolav End of Gods. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, all that fun stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. As you can see, we are in the forever loading screen. It's been going for about a minute and a half now, and I was like, well, might as well start recording. Um, last we left off, I do believe we were at the research facility. I forget what specific floor we are on, and there we go. I do believe we came from this way. And I don't remember the code. So we gotta go searching back for the code. How's everyone doing, though? I am doing pretty good. Hopefully you guys are doing good yourselves. Got the holidays coming up. Recording on Saturdays. Kid is asleep. Can we go this way? Yes, we can. Ooh, look at that inky black stuff. That is disgusting. Ooh, what's this? Dr. Lisa Svensson, Supervisor, Day 12 of Tablet Analysis. Dr. Anderson brought an artifact holding an engraved sphere in some form of a magnetic energy field. The text delivered with the sphere suggests that it's a soul stone, something meant to replicate and store the soul of any higher being. There are accounts of time anomalies and split realities, but they are impossible to read at the time. Interesting. Soul stones. What is this bad boy? Can't activate it quite yet. Oop, missed the stairs completely. Perhaps over here? Nope. Oh, it's one of those save things that I can't save it. Good to know. Alright, head back this way. That sounds interesting. Oh. Uh, do, do you have it? Oh, magnificent! Praised be Odin and all of his sons! Oh, you've done well. I almost died. And but I... you didn't. And now you've taken the first step in my plan to save this world of ours. Uh, I have full this plans. world? Yes, but. Now, now, there is much I have to show you. And, and time is of the essence. At the end of the hallway is a room. The key code is. Three, four, two, five. I'll direct you once you've entered the room. Please, leave questions for afterwards. Now go, 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 go. The Manting. Three, four, two, five. Three, four, two, five. This clears a lot of things up for us. Thank you for bringing the key back. You're, oh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Not a problem. Thank you for fixing my arm. Yeah. I assume you have no memories of your past, and I bet you're wondering who you are. Yes, well, I am, actually. So am I. But I'm locked out of the facility's main database at the moment, so if we make a quick detour, then. Henrik! Thousands are dying every minute, and you're talking about detours? We need to know, Sarah. I need to know what happened to her. Don't put the girl through any more than she has to, Henrik. Don't make her do this. <sighs> we, we have to figure this out. The emergency system severed the connection between most of the systems and the base. You need to go to the medical research facility and approve a remote link that? to grant me access to the information we need. I would do it myself, but I'm not strong. Aha, uh -huh, that's the real reason. I'll show you everything you need to know. Anything down over this way? Looks like I can't go that way. Can I be like a... One of that shark movies where it comes out, bites, uh... Samuel L. Jackson. 
forget the name of that movie. Should let me know in the comments. But movie that's from Deep Blue Sea, I think actually. Spoiler alert. All these. Another one. Yeah. Here's a PDA. Most things in the facility are always handled with extreme caution, while some just aren't. We're hundreds of meters below the surface in northern Sweden. If something happens, it could be hours before help arrives. Above that, some of the artifacts clearly emit energy fields that could be a potential long term health risk. The statue in the center of the facility has hundreds of people walking by it all day. Not to mention the gigantic hammer that was carelessly placed in a room where serious scientists, including myself, are working unprotected right next to it. My PDA tablet was low on battery this morning, but when I got back to my quarters, the battery was almost full. This just can't be right. But it is. Oops, wrong button. Head on down. Anything? Nope. Recharger. Anything over this way before we get situated? And how about over here? Nada. First try. I'll take that. And this one as well. Let's get a quick recharge. I know I only used it once, but I like to be stocked full. I'm getting good at that. of a facility-wide power failure, they can be charged to power equipment in smaller areas. Gun has the ability to remotely charge these batteries with large and small bursts. When you're done with it, you can just take the energy right back, like any power station. This will make the area go dark again. Supercharge! I want to check over here before I go over that way. Okay, apparently you can't get it down. Anything this way. Just more of these, huh? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Alright, onwards! That thing stopping your path is a wraith. Whoa. A ghost of a Jotun giant. It's time to show you the weapon in Yangre. The last level, right before it overloads, is used to destroy evil magic. But be wary, different creatures will react differently to the power, so be careful when using it. Use the large atrium burst to destroy the Jotun Wraith that stops your path. Pull the two stage two. I'm holding. There we go. Try that again. Okay, let's recharge. Quick 
charge on this. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Takes a lot out of you, though. Forget that while you're charging the arm, you can cancel the charge at any time to avoid overloading it. Good to know. Nothing there. By the gods. I see that ahead of you, there's a whole lot of vermin. Uh-oh. The mist describes them as trolls. We accidentally brought them back from Midgard on an expedition to retrieve a mythical harp from a magical creature which we destroyed. Ooh. Back then, they were I like harps. But when they started spreading here, they uh, they evolved, and now they aren't blind anymore. And they're aggressive, and fast. Always be ready for the large pulse of Jan Graper. Uh oh. Just when we're getting cozy. Uh-oh. Oh no. Get ready to poop my pants. Get a quick charge in the darkness. I can hear them all around me. It's so good. <gasps> okay. Those are small trolls. Creepy, nonetheless. I do not want to go that way. But I think I just have to. Uh, of course I do. I should have made that. And that did not work out well. Um, there we go. Bye bye. I guess you apparently have to be closer than what I was. Bye bye, Wraithy Wraithy. Another charger over there. I didn't see that. It's in the inside. That's a weird place for one, but uh, who am I to complain? <laughs> over there. Atrium powder. Powder. Power. I can't words right now. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Leaving all that noise. Whoa!
Whoa, what just happened? That really scared me, and sorry for this. Continue, there we go. Oh man, <laughs> we push buttons. Oh. Oops. Oh, jeez. Quick recharge. I apologize for the little inconvenience breaking the fourth wall. Not my intention. I feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff back there, but... Onwards we go. Vita, Vita! Here somewhere. Okay, I'm just gonna take this off because it keeps messing up. Sorry about that again. I'm trying to charge my mouse and it's not working. Okay, this way. That's creepy. Henrik, what am I looking at? That... That is the source of the power you are wielding. And the thing powering the whole facility. Mjolnir. The hammer I know Mjolnir. Thank you, You can charge Thor. the vapor on the energy outlets on the hammer. And don't forget your portable power cells if you end up without power suddenly. After this, you might lose connection since we go into the upper level, so... Uh, good luck. Get a quick save. And I think that's going to be it for today's episode, folks. If you like what you saw, like, subscribe, comment, share the video, all that fun stuff. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Auf Wiedersehen.